Hi, my name is Rob Botman. Today, we're going to look at the differences between annealed glass and tempered glass. We've mocked up two small glass coffee tables. The one on the left uses annealed glass. The one on the right is made from tempered glass. Let's see what happens when we impact them. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to drop a roll of paper on each of the coffee tables. The roll of paper weighs 18 and a half pounds. Okay. Here I go. Yep. Let's stop for a second and notice that the annealed glass breaks easily. <clears throat> notice how the annealed glass breaks into large dagger-like shards that would be very dangerous should you fall on them. Okay. Can I go? Yep. Now let's try the tempered glass. Let's see what happens. Okay, pick it up, try again. A little higher. Like this? Sure. Can I go? Yep. Higher. Can I go? Yep. Higher. Can I go? Yep. Good. The tempered glass is much harder to break, and when it does break, it breaks into small pebbles, which are much safer to land on compared to the large jagged shards of the annealed glass. This is why tempered glass is considered to be a safety glass, because these pebbles are small and are meant to minimize cutting and piercing injuries. Let's review what we've seen. The tempered glass was much stronger and broke into small shards, which would be much safer to land on. The annealed glass was fragile and broke into large shards, which would be very dangerous. This is why tempered glass is considered to be a safety glass, and annealed glass is not. Building codes all around the world specify safety glass in locations subject to human impact. This is the safe choice. Thanks for your time.